She doesn't come when you call her name. Oh, like she's gonna come running when she hears that. Maybe we should have taken our horses. By the time we tacked them up, we would have lost Prancer. We lost her anyway. Look! This is where the old Willow Creek mine used to be. Horses haven't been allowed on these trails for years. Doesn't mean it was Prancer. This is the only sign we've seen of a horse. I'd like to think it's ours, okay? Whatever you say, you're the expert. Guys, it's getting late. I don't want to be looking for Prancer in the dark. Fine. Fine. Boy, what's going on into you? Huh? Relax. You're going to see Prancer? <laughs> if we can find her. The hoof prints end here. Maybe she doubled back. She could be home by now. I doubt it. She knows Max is going to sell her. That's why she ran away the first time. Oh, you can read horses' minds now, too? Don't worry. We'll find her. No hoof prints and no horse. We should just go back to the stables and tell Max. So you're just going to give up on her? No, but we're obviously not going to find her like this. Well, I'm going to keep looking. Biggers. What's that supposed to mean? You think you know everything. You never listen to anyone else. Am I the only one who cares about what happens to Prancer? Stop it! Everyone okay? Oh, I think so. So, where are we? Looks like we found the old Willow Creek mine. No kidding. How are we going to get out of here? The same way we got in. There's no way we're going to be able to get back there. Oh, so you're the expert on tunnels, too? What if it caves in on us? The faster we get out of here, the better. We can't go into the tunnel. It's pitch black in there. Present from Dad. Military special. Come on. You sure you don't want me to go? Yes, I'm sure. You stay here in case Prancer comes back. I've called everyone I can think of. Vet, police, animal rescue. The entire town of Willow Creek will be searching for a runaway horse. She could be anywhere by now. I'll check McLeod first. She should never go back to that slime ball. Try to sell it to the slaughterhouse. McLeod's barn was her home for the first three years of her life. Makes sense you go somewhere familiar. Did you ask the girls? I thought they went home. Doesn't seem a bit of a coincidence that Prance has disappeared just as you've had an offer on her. No way. Where would they stash her? These are the same girls who kidnapped Prancer in the middle of the night and hid out at our old barn. That's a good point. Maybe I'll check there first. Um, would you mind giving their parents a call, see if they know anything? Yeah, I'll phone them, but uh, in my experience, parents are always the last to know when their children are up to something. You always knew what I was doing. I never got away with anything. Yes, but that says more about your poor planning skills than it does about my parental insight. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, all right. Thanks. Mm. Fine. Has he found her yet? I'm afraid not. But don't worry. She'll turn up. It's all my fault. What are you talking about? If I just moved Dime out of the way in time, Prancer wouldn't have scared me. 
And then Max wouldn't have gotten mad, and then he wouldn't be selling her. Don't be silly. You did nothing wrong. Max was ready to sell her long before your little run-in. Any sign of her? Prance is out there all by herself. Don't worry. Wherever she is, the girls will make sure she's okay. What are we gonna do? You guys go for help. I'll distract it. No way! What if it bites you? Don't worry, I'll be fine. Hey, look at this. We're here. You're here to buy Prancer. Prancer's a great horse. Yes, I thought so too. If you don't want to do any dressage with her, or jumping, or endurance. Really? Max didn't say anything about that. Maybe it's because I told him I was just looking for a trail buddy. Ah, uh, Prancer's great on the trail. When she's not bucking. Bucking, huh? Oh yeah, Prancer hates leaving the barn. Gallops back as fast as she can. What else can you tell me about Prancer? Can you breathe okay? Yeah, it just hurts a lot. Here. Roll this up and put pressure on her leg. Now what? Um, you need something to tie it. Perfect. Your pulse is pretty fast. You have to stay really still, okay? Are you cold? Yeah, and dizzy. Here, let's put this around her. There's anti-venom back at Pen Hollow. If we move her, the poison will run through her body faster. We'll never make it to Pine Hollow and back in time. We don't have a choice. We have to carry her. How do you know all this? My dad made me take a survival course. But I don't know how we're going to get past that snake. And Prance never kicks you.